America, Mount Everest in Nepal, the Nile River in Africa. The natural world is full of many awe-inspiring places, but there's one location that many of us have never visited, and unfortunately, may not even be aware of. This luscious landform not only contains some of nature's most curious life forms, but could potentially hold the key to overcoming some of the biggest obstacles facing medicine. Today, let's take a dive into the depths of a coral reef. First, we will wade through what the definition of coral actually is. Then we'll take a swim amongst the numerous plants and animals that make their homes in reefs around the world. And finally, we will dive into what it is that coral can do for us. First, however, we need to dispel the myth that coral is some kind of plant life. Rather, as Jacqueline Ronson, researcher and writer for Inverse Magazine, explains in her April 2016 article, coral is the name given to large conglomerations of polyps, which are animals. Now, the polyp floats through the ocean until it finds a nice rock to sit on. The polyp then sits and waits. At this point, the polyp is essentially dead, as it can't eat yet. However, when algae begins to grow on the surface of the polyp, the polyp springs to life and starts a symbiotic relationship with the algae. In this relationship, the algae will collect sunlight, convert it into energy, and share it with the polyp. In return, the polyp will begin to secrete a calcium carbonate shell around both it and the algae, providing them both with protection from predators, as explained by conservationist Rosemary Abbott in her article for the Coral Reef Alliance published in June of 2017. Now your average polyp is going to be anywhere from one millimeter long to 15 centimeters long. So it can take millions to create even a single piece of coral that we would find in a reef. That being said, let's take a look at the two kinds of coral that are created. The more common type of coral is called hard coral. And these are classified by being, uh, you guessed it, harder than their counterparts. And while they may not look as impressive, they play a vital role in keeping their reef healthy. Marine biologist Yasmin Smalley explained in her article for the Coral Reef Alliance published in July of 2016 that hard corals form breakwaters, which are raised spots of coral that stop strong ocean currents from reaching the inner parts of the reef. If the, wave, if the coral did not form these breakwaters, the waves would constantly be coming in and wiping out much of the plant and animal life found there. The other type of coral that is created is called soft corals, and these are made up of much more flexible materials, allowing them to form incredibly unique shapes. In addition, soft corals tend to attract a much more colorful variety of algae, which only adds to their beauty. And while they may not do much to protect their reef from strong ocean currents, they play a vital role in housing a wide variety of aquatic, plant, and animal life. Now that we've waded to what the definition of coral actually is, we can take a swim amongst the numerous plants and animals that make their homes in reefs around the world. Jürgen Frenn, a German marine biologist, reported on behalf of Wild Australasia last year that 25% of all marine life was contained in coral reefs, which make up less than 1% of the total area of the ocean. Now, if we were to go to a coral reef, the most basic form of life that we would encounter would be seagrass. Seagrass, as the name would imply, is very similar to the grass we have here on land, except it's found underwater. A healthy seagrass population is vital to the survival of every reef, as they act as both a nesting ground for many fish and provide a food source for many herbivores, like sea turtles, who are frequent visitors of reefs as they migrate across the planet. Swimming amongst the sea turtles, you're likely to find the incredibly bright parrotfish and angelfish, which unfortunately for them, due to their brightness, makes them easy meals for their predator, the octopus. The octopus, along with its cousin, the cuttlefish, are nature's masters of disguise. Danielle Hall, head of the Smithsonian's Marine Science Board, explained in an April 2018 article simply titled Cephalopods, that they are capable of changing not just the color of their skin, but also its texture, meaning that they can blend in nearly perfectly to almost any environment. And while some large octopi have been known to take on sharks, many stick to much easier prey, like crabs. Crabs, despite living underwater, are incapable of swimming. This means that they're forced to prey on other animals that are unable to swim. So naturally, they eat a lot of shrimp, which, despite their small size, can still put up quite a fight. As part of Maddie Moat's 2014 documentary, BBC Unplugged, a journey into the wildest of the natural world, her and her team discovered that the pistol shrimp, one of the more unique creations in the coral reef, is capable of snapping its claws together so fast that it creates a sonic boom under the water which is capable of cracking crab shells and killing other animals from several feet away. 
Still, though, there is nothing that can escape every reef's apex predator, the black tip shark. Listed by Toby Curtis, a marine biologist for the state of Florida's Parks and Rec Services, at five feet long, 150 pounds, they are giants in the world of every reef, topping the food chain. So as we can see with this massive interconnected web, when all the plants and animals are in harmony with each other, one of the most beautiful ecosystems in the natural world comes to life. But if we were to remove even a single plant or animal, the entire web falls apart. <laughs> What would happen, though, if the webs of coral reefs around the world began to fall apart? Would it make any difference to us or our families? After all, as of an April 2018 estimate by Nancy Knowlton, head of the Smithsonian's Marine Science Board, less than 1% of planet Earth is taken up by coral reefs. Surprisingly, though, despite their relatively small size, coral reefs are one of the most important areas in nature to protect. One of the biggest reasons that reefs are important to protect is that they act as a food source for over a billion people worldwide. That's right, over a billion people every day eat fish that are caught in coral reefs. Additionally, coral reefs act as a tourist hotspot, which helps invigorate local economies. And more recently, scientists have begun working on ways to develop underwater turbines that would harness the natural ebb and flow of ocean currents inside of reefs to generate electricity. This is all according to the World Wildlife Federation on their website, Why Coral Reefs Matter, published in November of 2015. But beyond just feeding us, there's hopes that coral reefs will one day help us to cure diseases. Coral have developed some of the best immune systems in the natural world. As a result, scientists across the globe are swimming through reefs right now, trying to find new ways to develop cures. And so far, we've had quite a few successes. Back in 2007, researchers at the Drug Discovery Research Institute in Maryland began working on a compound that would help shrink the size of kidney tumors in humans. Unfortunately, this drug and many others like it are still undergoing clinical trials. But if we go even farther back to 2003, Italian researcher Dr. Federica Grosso received approval to start rolling out her new drug to remove brain tumors. The animal behind this discovery wasn't a coral, but a close cousin of the sea squirt, which can be found in reefs across the world. And so far, scientists have only just begun to delve into the world of possibilities. There's no telling what the coral or the future may hold. Today, we first waded to what the definition of coral actually is. Then we took a swim amongst the numerous plants and animals that make their homes and reefs around the world. And finally, we dove into what it is that coral can do for us. So while at first glance, coral reefs may look like a pile of colorful rocks at the bottom of the ocean, we now know about the living, complex, diverse ecosystem that is one of the most magnificent in the natural world. So while coral reefs may not have the size of the rainforest, or the splendor of Mount Everest, or the publicity of the Nile River, coral reefs and all they contain are one of the most awe-inspiring sights in the natural world.